the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see that put a time on it. The talk about the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is, there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, then that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I said another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> about the scriptures. We'll learn from one another. But because I'm just telling you, if you're talking about church leaders of the past, I'm using them ones of the past. But I know most of you know I can bring up stuff from the future. Current. Right? I send you videos all the time, don't I? <laughs> Now, of, of people sitting there speaking another, is that a better word to use? I mean, that's the best word I use, is preaching another gospel. Another gospel. As long as they profess themselves to be Christians and they talk and they preach and they preach another gospel. Here's the other thing. Go to, you, I'll let you read this for me. This is a different word right up. To confirm the Portuguese trade rights, King Afonso V <clears throat> appealed to Pope Nicholas V for support, seeking the moral authority of the church for his monopoly. The bull of 15, I mean 1452 was addressed to Alfonso V and conceded Portugal's right to attack, conquer, and subjugate Saracens and pagans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just that. Yeah, you see it right there. In writing too. <laughs> it ain't like I told you, in verbal, right? In writing. What's the rest of that say? Then we grant you by these present documents with our apostolic authority. Wow. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Free permission to invade, search out, capture, and subjugate the Saracens and pagans and any other unbelievers mm. and enemies of mm. Christ, Woo. wherever they may be, <laughs> as well as their kingdoms, duchies, mm. duchies, counties, principalities, and other properties, mm -hmm. and to reduce their persons into perpetual servitude. I got it from the Wikipedia again. You can look it up yourself. Ain't that something? That, that is, that is, uh, Amazing, yes, because sir. it starts off by trade rights, yes, sir. which is the money. Mm -hmm. So here we go. It was all about it. It was all about money. It was all yeah. about power, resources. So right? obviously, the appeal mm. to the Pope was, "I'm going to give you if you give me." Yeah, give me, look, give me a thought, give me, I'm, I'm looking at it, you give me an excuse. I need an excuse yeah. to do excuse what I do. You know, and I'm pretty sure the Pope got a financial mm -hmm. uh, uh, benefit I'm, they got, financially. I'm, the church, the Catholic and, church got buku money. Just to say, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. We approve of you, and <clears throat> we'll say that that God ordains this. Come on now, talk, preach it. I, I, this, I'm a being in God's stand, in God's preach. stead. Come on now, and come approve on. this. Come on, come on, please. That is that not you? Tell me that that's not something happening in 2023. Oh yeah, that, mean, come on. I, all, all of government, come on, on. and. The crazy thing is, you hear so much about these evangelicals and mm. their position mm. of power because yes. of their vote. Yes. And that is the exact same thing you're yes. looking at right here. You and exactly. it's not about the kingdom of God. Come on, bro. It's Come about on. the wealth of this earth and who's getting it. Yes. And it's you, about <laughs> the favor and the position in this earth and who's getting it. Come on. So if, <clears throat> if, if these so-called uh, 
evangelicals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on, I'm gonna call so you can think it's here, you see you all the way. You look like a little small box on this when I got that slides up. Go yeah. ahead. So, so all I'm saying is that these evangelicals are not considering the kingdom of God no. at all. At all. At all. They are not considering the gospel of Yeshua no. at all. Mm -mm. What this is, is a position of power and authority and finances in this world. In this world. And so whatever you hear these people say it's most likely most likely another gospel another gospel yeah uh uh anything of god yeah it, it, it it's it, it it has to be parsed out to where it supports their narrative exactly it get to me. I say give. I just need a, a you know. I'm gonna use a modern day uh, scenario where I, I I'm, I'm leaving out a pot. I'm using it as an example, not so much as politics, but an example. When 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 Donald Trump told he wanted like I think the Justice Department, or he was he was trying to get uh, the legislatures to do something and and said. Do that going up to January the 6th, he was basically saying is, just tell them this is, to Georgia, I think it was going to Georgia and some of those other states, just tell them that there's a suspicious concerns about the election and then let the con let me and the congressmen yeah. uh, do, do, do the rest. Do the I, 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 I just- Of yeah. furthering this lie. Exactly. I just need you to legit, what a, legitimize. It, it don't even have to be true. Come on. Just say it and we'll make up documents. We'll make up the facts. Come on. And the proof. Yes. Uh, and, and. It's you know, amazing. I'm not even going to get into that. Yeah. Hopefully uh, what's going on in this current uh, news and, and information time. Yeah. What's going on with the uh, former twice impeached uh, <laughs> charged okay. with, with federal crimes. I'm, how many? Uh, uh, oh, so about 70 there now, I think. Yeah. Uh, this man, you know, he's going to come up with all kinds of things, but he will not have any supporting facts mm -mm. to establish a right standing for what he did right what they will do is take a no different than what we're D talking about uh, yes uh, exactly uh, that's what we tied it in we tied it in the law come on now they will spin it mm -hmm. to where it seems like what he did is covered under mm -hmm. the law yeah and they'll say it just because it sounds criminal doesn't mean it is criminal. Right. And we could we could do these crimes and not be punished because he is the president. Or was. At that or, time. or was. Yeah. yeah. No, because he's still saying he is. <laughs> <laughs> I know he got upset when they, they got the lady kept saying his name yeah. in, in the court proceedings. Yeah. Yeah. But uh it's it's uh but it's the same thing that's what they you really tying in what what modern day excuse i just need an excuse yeah to justify my behavior yeah you know and and what what afonso of the portuguese the the i guess he was a king uh he just needed an excuse and and it in the ministry because i ain't gonna call it the church the ministry gave him what he was asking for. What you saw was it? I yeah. needed moral authority. Yeah. Can you imagine that? I just need the moral authority. No different than that that king Come going on. to that pope. No different, bro. None That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. And, and and people fall right behind and go, oh well, he got the moral authority. 
and he and don't get it twisted and think that this is something new how you have same tools people who are poor supporting mm. this man mm -hmm. when all the evidence shows that he's corrupt and that what he's saying is not true yeah okay yeah. they're sending the their their last little bit of money knowing that it's going to be appropriated and used for his benefit it for yeah now, i'm gonna say something that's controversial and you might delete this but do we need to delete that we may delete thing. this one two three four no 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 I'm saying the church <laughs> is doing the same thing exactly that's what i'm saying the same thing as, that as, you know they're taking monies from people who can't even afford it Mm. Oh, oh! Now you're talking about oh, okay for okay. themselves. Wow! No different than now. So if you can't understand mm. how it's done on this level, whoa, whoa! Look at how it's being done. Try and understand that level. Woo! Yeah, because you really, I like that. You know, some of the comedians joke and said, "Will a man rob God?" Yeah. See, see, see! I'm giving them more authority mm -hmm. to take your money. Cause, Cause, I am the what well, I, I guess I'm the handler of the money yeah, that goes yeah. to God. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna make you feel guilty. Yes. Because you robbing God. See, you're not rob. You you robbing me. But yeah. I'm, I'm basically you. what he's saying. <laughs> That's exactly I'm what he's saying. Here in God's state. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then when I get it, I'm gonna do what I want to do with it. Woo because God put me in charge over it. Yeah. Come on now. I mean, so the one, one, some of the people just joke about the fact that uh, they said, this what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my money, like, hold, yeah, hold a whole bunch of cash, right? And so I'm going to give it to God. I'm going to just <laughs> up in the air. Yeah. And, and, and what, what if he wants it to take, but if he don't Whenever take he it. don't want it to come back to me. <laughs> come back to me. Yeah. Because uh, that's how they perceive how they, when you're giving it to a ministry, it's like, did I give it to God yeah. or did I give it to you? And you know, I, just the other day, because I heard how much it's, it's in the billion for it the is. lottery. Mm. Now you'll go to these churches and now you, you're giving money to, to the yeah. devil oh, to yes, try sir. and win money, but yeah. but win and see how much they want exactly. <laughs> of that oh, money. Yeah, I, I need that 10%. That you won, yeah. I need yeah. that 10%. Don't give me that 10%. Yeah, and, I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Matter of fact, give it to me up front, right? Matter of fact, you know, first fruit, you gotta give it to me. Yeah. First fruit. Yeah. I know it. I, you, God, God bless you with that money, so you. You see what I'm saying? Not to get a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or like you said, I think a long time ago, you said the fact is that you got people that can't, you can't get transportation, you can't pay the rent. Yeah. And 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 I, and I understand people as far as you you trying to say the equivalence of the money you manage should be the salary you get you know like a, just like other ceos i i get that it's just the fact is that everybody in your congregation you should have enough overflow the number of your congregation members should be struggling yeah no one no. in your congregation should be without you see what i'm saying because you got enough to get without. these big mansions yeah we're talking about I mean, huge ones and this too. is the thing if 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 you want them to live within their means, then everybody needs to live within their means so that everybody mm -hmm. can be in a life and not have no lacks. Yeah, I know, I know. And that's, and I think that's a valid. Who is supposed to be the servant can't do it. Yeah. Then, you know, how do you expect everybody else? I know. To, to, to fall in line. And, yeah. and, and I'm not saying, because you always hear, you know, I just just saw this the other day. Somebody posted, uh, don't don't get mad about tithing to your church because your pastor is most likely tithing more. What? Why is he tithing more? He, he tithing to who? To himself. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and then they say, "Well, you got it." I, I give my ties to a to another church. You know, uh, to my right. to my uh, to, what do they call them? the my spiritual God. fathers? Yeah, like that. my yeah. spiritual father. 
okay, how often? And <laughs> and, and what I'm, about what about your flock? Yeah. Why, why why is your flock lacking? Yeah. So that you can give your abundance to yeah. someone else. And, and the thing, the, 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 what that church is doing with it, right? What is that ministry doing with it? How, are they are they feeding the poor? Look at this. Okay, so if you you your children, which these people are representative of in your congregation. So you're gonna let some of your children lack so that you can give to somebody outside? Mm-hmm. Well, they talk about even rent. Have you ever heard that before sometimes? Oh, you gotta pay your rent? Pay you gotta get your time? Don't pay your rent, don't pay your light bill, don't pay your 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 gas. Yeah, go pay you your time. Your water. Yeah, yeah. Don't pay your car note. Mm, mm, mm. Don't buy no food. Mm. Don't don't feed your children. Mm. You gotta pay that time. Don't clothe yeah. don't clothe your children. Yeah. And mm. and, and and how does that make God mm. seem just? And then you know the thing about it too is like the fact is that. This is one of the things you, yeah, we talk about a couple of times, but people, if you're just talking, you, you, I encourage you to have the same discussion as yourself, uh, where the scriptures say, give and it shall be given. Mm -hmm. Good measure, press down, shaking down, running over to men, giving to your bosom. And you expecting people to receive money from other believers, because that, that'd be a good way to do it, right? Yeah. The men are in your congregation, the men are in your community. But you discourage that. Yeah. You don't discourage about you have people in that congregation instead of saying, give your tithes to this person, to this to the ministry, which is not redistributing it to people in the ministry. Mm -hmm. But you but if the person gives not giving to somebody else to bless somebody else. You gonna sit there and say, "Well, did you pay your tithes first? You gotta pay your tithes first before you do that." You should have no. gave that to us. Come on now. Okay, but it's it's even more sinister than that because to sit there and and to you know what I'm I'm my spirit is not want me to get into this. Well, the thing there, let's let's tie back to where we was using. Yeah. The fact is that the ministries of the old, of the historical, it's it, we're saying that's reflective of some of the ministries today, where you're using stuff for personal gain. And 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 then to my concern is this particular excuse because that's what I think about when they the the about the that that Portugal king, I need the moral authority to do bad things and that's what you that's what they was using you see what i'm saying it i mean it, it was interesting man, God, the guy just said it i wanted to look at i mean i'll put it back up here he i mean look at this right here this is what i was keying on to because i think that's what people do today to do the bad things they do you know he the top of that sentence is to confirm the portuguese trade rights Money, King Alfonso V, and what trade are we talking about too? Let's make sure we get that too. What trade right are we talking about? Slave trade. We talk about the, and the slave ivory trade. trade. Yes, and sir. The gold trade. Come on. And the diamond trade. Come on. And the rubies trade. Yes, sir. Come on now. It it it, it appeal to Pope Nicholas V for support. What support he's looking for? The moral authority. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I'm looking for God authority. As if they believe that the authority given, they think that the, a man going to give is going to be able to go before God. Can they say, everybody get, need to give an account themselves to God, right? He gonna sit, some of these people actually believe that they have their moral authority. When they mean moral authority, they're talking about God. Yeah. People. The things that's and that's the concern, and that's where my friend that I have conversations with all the time is sitting there saying a bunch of lies, jokes, deceit, he even said the word BS. 
because that's 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 what people have done from from the Jim Crow laws to the lynching to the raping to the killing. If you think you get a more authority from God, you're not getting a more authority from God. That's not the teaching of Christ. Let me come out of the scripture now. You know, I got my faith. Right? But it also says, Doc, look, apostolic authority, right? They, these are supposed to be apostles, aren't they? <laughs> the continuation of apostles, right? Yeah. Uh, to, to, to give full free permission. Isn't that what that's at, too? Full. That's, and, 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 and like you said, that's what gets you caught up in the modern day. Because you, you, you easily see that this is the same book, same tricks, same tools used in 2023. That's what you, that's what you were, that's what you were saying. That's how we got into that tangent. You see what I'm saying? You were just trying to bring it up to today. Wheatley's trying to show you yesterday. I'm just making the point to where, I, and I hear this all the time, and you mm -hmm. see it on social media. Mm -hmm. These people are so dumb that they're giving this billionaire money. Yes, sir. To for his lawyer. And all it is an excuse to say that this is justifiable rage, yeah. right? When they talk give, about people, give, give an excuse to get the money. Yes, that's all I need. An and then they'll get it. Yeah, and yeah. Is, he is the rightful president. The government is bad. Mm -hmm. Use it as a weapon. They can do it to me. They can do it to you. Which, hey man, God bless you. We once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday. Uh, the uh, fifth, or the sixth of August, uh, and 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 you really need to take a look at this and and and, and analyze the scripture. See, and I'm going to talk about the fact is that there's people today, as well as documented history of people preaching, teaching, authorizing another gospel. And what I mean another gospel mean is that our gospel is which may stand for good news, is to love one another. Our gospel is that God sent his son, his only begotten son. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. His body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You, you can't kill God, amen? But you can't, God sit there and put himself in the flesh and incarnate him for the flesh, amen? So the point I'm saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's that's the teaching of the gospel, and that all of us can receive it. Don't mean we're gonna be forced to do it, and that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can you force somebody to be a believer, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation, the gospel is a gift, and you don't make people receive a gift. You offer the gift. And for us as souls and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen. So well, I think you're going to love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave comments if you, if you want to make comments. Um, but just understand these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage, we talked about earlier, is don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen? So don't forget that. I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week so you can grow and other people can learn from it as well, amen? I just encourage you to do that, you know? And I put that here, the scriptures, it says no other gospel which is in Galatians 1, 6 said, I marvel you so soon removed from him 
that called you into the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so I say it now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be a curse. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I perceive or seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we were trying to cover and we talked about it. Some great discussions. So I hope you enjoy the, the uh, session that we went through today. And uh, we will see you when we see you. I'm going to break this down in about from, from A all the way to G, if necessary, uh, for you to look at, analyze, and study. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. I bless you. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support. And continue to do what you believe is right and continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel yeah god bless you and like i said don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you when i see you all right god bless you bye-bye this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah hallelujah God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.